welcome students to the online NPTEL course uh, Contemporary Architecture and Design. In the previous class, uh, we started discussing the, the po different postmodern movement and in the uh, we also discussed uh, one of the postmodern movement which is historicism and we have seen how uh, they have taken um, historic depiction into the architecture which was um, uh, which was not the uh, style uh, which uh, was followed in the uh, uh, high modern uh, era, especially in the internationalist and um, uh, that modern phase 2's uh, style. Now, uh, today we will discuss another uh, postmodern movement we, uh, which evolved after 1980s. Uh, which is high tech movement. So, uh, there uh, the technology uh, started becoming uh, the ornamentation of the building. Uh, so, we have seen a similar uh, kind of approach where uh, technology started becoming uh, ornamentation in the modern uh, when uh, we have seen the construction technique uh, started becoming um, the ornamentation in the uh, tensile and uh, shell structure. And also, we have seen uh, in uh, uh, mon uh, in uh, meta uh, metabolism, services started becoming the uh, aesthetic uh, element. But in that, uh, this is not um, uh, the way of um, showing the ornamentation is not uh, high tech. So the services, when uh, we are seeing this uh, Richard Medical Lab, the services uh, which looks uh, does not look very futuristic or high tech, uh, but uh, just the services are becoming. Uh, uh, way of uh, facade treatment, but here in the high tech, uh, um, high tech um, um, postmodern movement, where technology uh, started making uh, becoming uh, technology and other elements are giving uh, uh, giving a uh, building a futuristic look with the ornamentation. So, uh, the technology, uh, the architectural features of the technology which is uh, ornamentation and technology can be the construction technique, the new material and services. So, this is one example of uh, the high tech building which is Pacific Design Center designed in 1975 in, uh, by Caesar Pelli. Uh, so, it is designed in uh, Los Angeles, California. So, this building if you look at the building's um, shape. So, these buildings are uh, ha have a different shape and different color which is um, uh, there in the same co uh, complex one is blue building, one is green and one is red. And if you look at the building, this building also has a uh, style of deconstructive approach. So, deconstructive visim uh, is another uh, postmodern movement. So, if you look at uh, the building, this building has a lot of angularity. This uh, in uh, this uh, red tower, red building. In this, the uh, building is top heavy. Uh, the bottom is smaller, and this building is also top heavy. The uh, um, uh, green building and this, uh, the lines are going in different way. So, the construct uh, 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 when we have seen this uh, structural. Um, elements are becoming um, uh, aesthetic um, um, uh, element of aesthetics in um, uh, shell and tensile structure where structures are shown, but here the structures are questioned and so the ang angularity, dynamism and top heavy things are structurally not stable uh, form. So, this is not a structural stable form because it is very thin and this is uh, leaning on top, this is also uh, on uh, top this is heavy. So, this also has a deconstructive approach. So, deconstructive Constructivism we will discuss in detail when we uh, 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 talk about the deconstructive appro uh, approach in um, uh, deconstructive movement uh, in, de uh, in detail. But this uh, design is um, taking an approach of deconstructivism as well as the high tech uh, design. So, why this is high tech? Because the new material which is glass is uh, overly uh, used and totally it is cladded by the new material which is glass. So, uh, technology can also be the uh, te uh, material and uh, construction technique and uh, many other things. So, here the new material is uh, uh, encompassing and wrapping the building which is also uh, not a simplistic building uh, like modernist movement. So, lot of forms are uh, uh, this is a co complex form and a uh, lot of angular uh, angularity is added into the form. So, different colored uh, tinted glasses are uh, giving the look of, um, uh, of uh, uh, the color of different uh, buildings. So, this blue building is a showroom uh, which is uh, and these buildings are designed in different uh, stages. The green building is a headquarter which is designed in 1980 and red building is the office space or the parking which is uh, designed in um, 2011. 
So the bright red, blue and the green uh, tinted glass claddings are showing the technology as ornamentation. So this is not, not just a um, translucent uh, normal glass, this is a different uh, colored uh, polished uh, uh, and this has a shine from outside because of the glass uh, um, is reflect, uh, has a reflection um, um, component of the, um, uh, from the light and this gives a futuristic look. So if you look at the shine of the building and with the different colors, which is again the postmodernism is talking about the different colors and um, uh, materials and also there is a different colored bases there. So together it look, uh, gives a very futuristic look in the uh, total complex of the design. This is strong and remarkable um, urban futuristic form is there in this high tech design. There's another is, is the Lloyd building by Richard Rogers and Mike Davies. So this is uh, this Richard Rogers design in uh, London is, uh, is came up in uh, 1986. So uh, this is a tech, uh, here technology is as ornamentation. So here the technology is the services technology. So services are exposed as part of the facade design. Uh, and the uh, because the surfaces are taken out um, in the uh, exterior wall, uh, uh, exterior wall, so uh, clutter-free interior space is there. So on a, in, from inside, there's no uh, electricity line, plumbing line is coming. Everything is coming from outside. So this concept we have seen in the metabolist uh, uh, movement, and we uh, discussed that in the metabolist movement. The concept of metabolism and brutalism also percolated in the uh, postmodern movement, and postmodern uh, many of the postmodern um, designs are also uh, in, uh, got inspired from the metabolism. So, metabolism one principle all, uh, was uh, the, uh, the concept of servant and served. So, servant spaces, which is like uh, the services, are also has an aesthetic value. That was the con uh, that was one concept, and another concept was this. Um, uh, uh, this modularity. So uh, the servant and served concept is uh, exaggerated over here and um, um, taken into different uh, dimension, and uh, that that is uh, creating the uh, beauty aesthetics uh, uh, style of this uh, building. So from outside you can see this uh, servant space, which is uh, staircase and which is also uh, metal cladded. So metal is also a, a, a material which gives a very futuristic and uh, contemporary look. So uh, if you uh, use uh, stone and brick, which gives a uh, uh, gives a more um, um, old look, but metal and glass, uh, this gives a, a more uh, futuristic look. So this concept of inside our out architecture is called Baalism. So this Baalism, which uh, came from metabolist approach, is the approach where services will be exp uh, exposed um, uh, as a part of facade design, and that will create a clutter-free interior spaces. So all this. Um, I think it looks like uh, uh, there's a uh, 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 the skin, the skeleton uh, is uh, um, is out, and the, all the services and the veins and um, uh, things are outside the building, and that is creating this um, aesthetics of this building. So this Lloyd building, if we look at from inside, also it's like uh, it's the same principle. This is the skin of this building, and from outside, all the service lines and pipelines are exposed from outside, and that is creating the facade of this building. And that is the style, and this building, the uh, 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 the visual style of this building is um, is uh, a Baalism, and that is give, uh, giving the high tech and the futuristic look. And this looks like a very organic, uh, uh, like a giant arm. Um, organic uh, element which is uh, whose veins and every uh, organs are exposed from outside. Another example of this Baalism movement is uh, Pompidou Center. Again, Richard Roger is uh, designing this with Renzo Piano. This is in 1977 in Paris, which is almost in the same similar in the, uh, in the beginning of this uh, postmodern era. So this is a center for, for George Pompidou. This is an art center, an exhibition center. This building is, an exhibition, uh, is for exhibition of French culture. Again, the Baalism is uh, used. So from outside, this is a service, which is a uh, level changing device. Staircase is uh, used, and staircase is painted red from the behind. So people will see from human's eye perspective, the red painted um, um, soffit of this uh, staircase will be seen. And from outside, this is all structural members. So this is not just services, also the structural members are exposed from outside. So this is the front facade. When we show the back facade, uh, you will see more um, uh, plumbing and electricity and all the services are exposed on the other three facade. So here the concept of this facade was, uh, you can see the poster which is uh, 
um, um, there on this uh, facade. So this facade does not have a particular uh, design um, uh, color. So what, whatever is going on in the exhibition, the poster will be um, hanged on this facade and that will um, create the facade and that was the concept and uh, so the facade will be ever changing and that will uh, communicate with the people. And if you look at this uh, building, so this building was, uh, this was the site and uh, the half of the um, site has this building and half was left empty. So from here this creates, a, this becomes a plaza which is again the uh, concept of place making from outside there are four um, uh, roads will be there and people will be, uh, uh, will come here. So if the building was somewhere here and which is, uh, which will left a uh, few negative space from um, outside that uh, the, uh, this plaza couldn't have been created. So you can see the view of this plaza from here they will um, see this uh, staircase and all these posters what is going on in this building. So the building will communicate with the people uh, which is the, uh, who are there in the plaza. So gradually the people from this road will come to the plaza because it's open space uh, and everybody can come there and then the building facade will uh, communicate. Well, there will be a visual communication of the building facade with the people and then gradually they will come here. So there's a people's perspective and the people's behavior and user uh, authentic approach was um, there in those uh, design. The concept uh, uh, was more used in the postmodernist movement because it was also used in modernist movement in George Nelson's design and other design, but this was a postmodern concept of uh, a post a postmodernity. Uh, in postmodernity, this concept was overly used. Now, selection. Uh, this is selected by Oscar Namier. We have seen Oscar Namier's work in uh, uh, in the. Uh, uh, monolithic style in uh, especially in Brazil and Philip Johnson, uh, Philip Johnson who is also a modernist uh, architect and we have discussed Philip Johnson's work and his, how his work changed, uh, changed from uh, internationalism to uh, the histor um, historic uh, movement. So this is a competition entry and uh, Richard Rogers and Renzo Piano got selected. Uh, and uh, this uh, Pompidou Center um, uh, from this is the back side of the Pompidou Center and here you can see all the services and this is the structural element and the bracings and the uh, steel um, element which is like a um, uh, facade going like that and is holding uh, like a scaffolding uh, all this um, services are um, uh, can be also uh, maintained uh, um, uh, using this uh, scaffolding and all this elements uh, uh, and the services are creating this facade. So this facade is not um, not like w uh, not treated facade, this is the treatment of the facade and that is the beauty of this uh, building. All these uh, buildings are, uh, all these uh, facades um, services are color coded so that for the functional ease. So the uh, green color is uh, for the plumbing, so these are the plumbing, blue are the f uh, for the climate control for HVAC and others and yellow is for, for electric. Uh, so um, they is also uh, yellow lines which is uh, giving the electricity supply and red is for fire safety and the and the circulation we have seen this uh, red color in the stair and this is for the fire safety elements now here it is this is the plan so the plaza is left and from these roads uh, people will percolate in the plaza and then gradually they will enter through this uh, building this is another example of a high-tech uh, building. This is Haas House by, uh, by Hans Holien. Uh, this is design, uh, 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 designed in 1990s in uh, Vienna, uh, in Austria. So this is a retail and a restaurant uh, which is designed in the uh, corner plot of uh, this uh, plaza. And so uh, we can see on the uh, perspective of this uh, place making. So here this is a street uh, facade and uh, all these shops are there and which is very translucent. So people will uh, see what is going on here and this, there's a robust, um, uh, more solid, uh, more opaque um, um, top part is there. So here we can see this part is a glass curtain wall in this um, side and also there are different different elements and uh, this is a series of um, 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 cylinders are added to it and here also there is a glass curtain wall and, and different kind of cladding is added and so and also in the uh, uh, facade treatment we can see two different way of treatment in this one particular corner plot building. So this is also the uh, um, uh, adding to the complexity of the design uh, for this two different uh, way of uh, treating the facade and also uh, because of this um, um, 
uh, facade cladding and the glass curtain wall. Uh, this is giving a high tech and uh, futuristic look. And this high tech and futuristic look is also in the contrast of the uh, the historical cathedral, which is just in front of it. Uh, so this is this become a little controversial uh, because uh, this is not responding to the uh, visual style of uh, the old uh, Vienna's uh, uh, cathedral. And here you can see there's a lot of tilt and turn is also there in the which is and a um, lot of different elements are added. So this is not a just a straight facade. M many elements are added into the design. And this uh, steel claddings on uh, in different uh, uh, places are also giving the futuristic look and uh, which is the visual vocabulary of the high tech design. Now another example of high tech design is HSBC uh, Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank uh, designed by Norman Foster who is one of the uh, famous uh, architect of uh, post modern era in 1985 in Hong Kong. So this is this used uh, uh, not just the uh, concept of um, exposing the structure. This also used the concept of prefabrication, which is uh, and modularity, which is there from meta, uh, which is coming from the metabolist approach. So Nagakin capsule tower is, uh, if you remember, that uh, was designed from prefab. Um, 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 living units, uh, which is uh, constructed by by a shipping container manufacturer, and that was snap fitted into the um, uh, into the service core, and it was designed very quickly. So here also the prefabricated uh, elements, uh, steel uh, modules are used to design the structural skeleton which is exposed. So here the high tech technology is coming from the structural technology, the construction technique. So here from outside we can see this is the structural um, member which is um, supporting the, um, uh, the building which is not hidden by the uh, facade cladding which is um, instead of that uh, the uh, structural skeleton is outside the building and the facade uh, um, uh, covering is inside. So, so you see the structural skeleton uh, from outside and that is creating the uh, high tech um, technology. So technology is visible from outside. So this is taking a natural sunlight as main source of light from the central atrium and this is also um, uh, to cut down the cost of electricity and Feng Shui is added um, uh, to do the um, uh, floor planning. As we are discussing more of the visual style, we will not discuss about the floor planning and how this has been created. But here, this atrium, if you look at the huge atrium, takes um, and as well as the glass curtain wall from outside, takes the natural loud, uh, light from. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of illumination from inside, and also within the inside, the uh, the steel structures and prefabricated materials, these bracings and the uh, huge columns are exposed. This column could have been merged over here, but this is um, has an extra extension and the column is going through and through so that it is it becomes more visible and uh, it does not blend with the other um, uh, movement elements so this uh, and this um, uh, s um, a not interrupted uh, straight line are giving uh, a, um, much more verticality to the look and that looks more strong in the visual uh, design. Uh, otherwise if this is inside this then uh, this element would not have been um, uh, have that visibility which right now it has. So this structural skeleton is from uh, vi uh, is visible from outside as well as from this atrium which gives the uh, uh, visual style of this. Um, skeletal look of uh, this high tech uh, building. Now another example of this high tech building is uh, Norman Foster's, again Norman Foster's design in Garkin. This is uh, 30, uh, uh, is the address of this building and this is design is uh, 2001 in London. So many of this London's um, um, photograph you will see this Garkin. And Garkin is, uh, this is the structural skeletal of this Garkin um, uh, building which is uh, the uh, turning and twisted uh, columns, uh, steel columns. So you can see this uh, structure which is um, here. So all these twisted and tur uh, turned um, skewed columns are going from bottom to the top of this building and that is uh, creating the facade. So facade is not uh, something else. So, so this this structural members, so this um, these are the steel structural members are the uh, what you see from this white uh, lines are the steel structural members and the cladding which is uh, the glass curtain wall again going with the uh, concept of the high tech is uh, following this grid and this is breaking uh, this uh, one uh, structural grid into a smaller um, 
uh, grid uh, by the uh, glass curtain wall and which is going in uh, going hand in hand and together this uh, form also looks like a rocket and which is also giving a futuristic high tech look of the building so this is showing the construction and the technology of uh, the facade cladding in as a high tech uh, uh, the showcase of the visual concept of the high tech um, design now another uh, building which looks quite similar is uh, jean novels uh, tore akbar in um, barcelona which is designed uh, just after that in uh, 2004 which also looks like a uh, garkin but this also has a contextual connection so from outside this ha this is uh, not showing the structural uh, skeleton this is showing a digital technology with uh, this um, led lights on top of this uh, skin so all these uh, smaller um, uh, facade cladding of digital uh, facade uh, um, led lights for fac facade cladding will create this pattern of um, uh, of uh, different colors so this is not just a uh, yeah, red and blue so this changes the color there's green and other colors are there so this takes an exam uh, inspiration from this um, uh, concept of uh, gaudi's um, uh, design which is uh, um, there in the barcelona where gaudi uh, in casa mila and park guel this is a park guel's uh, uh, lizard which is designed by gaudi is uh, taking the uh, uh, the facade is uh, um, of this uh, sculpture uh, the skin of the sculpture is uh, the porcelain uh, ceramic tiles and different colored ceramic tiles he used to also use in the uh, outside skeleton uh, outside facade of the building as well so this uh, uh, and gaudi's work is there um, in uh, throughout the barcelona so barcelona is um, has a um, um, impact of gaudi's work so he's taking inspiration of gaudi's lizard and that's why the skin of this is like a lizard which changes the color so there's uh, green blue and other different colors and it looks like a, a lizard's uh, uh, color changing skin which uh, he's taking inspiration from contextual inspiration from gaudi so this is this design is specially for uh, barcelona because barcelona is uh, uh, has this park guels um, uh, lizard so this has a contextual connection and um, this is not an internationalist building so this this cannot be uh, placed in any other places because uh, that does not have the meaning because there's a meaning is connected with the garkin's uh, uh, garkin's uh, skin is um, is like a lizard's um, uh, color changing uh, skin so that is how the gene novel is designed uh, designed this uh, with a contextual uh, sensitive uh, contextual connection and also uh, because of the digital technology it is definitely uh, within the high tech um, concept of the postmodernist movement thank you